I'm only going to pick a couple of problems. We could just do two. It depends on how well you guys know this, okay? So I want you guys to work in the margin. And the first problem I want you guys to try is this one right here, number 26. Okay, try that, num try that problem right there, and then we'll go over it. If you guys, so, hey, I gave you guys time. Now pay attention. Okay, now there's different ways to set this up. We were working with the box, so I'm going to keep doing this. This is kind of like a graphic organizer. So, the first, uh, the first binomial is x plus 9. So, you can put it on the top or the side. I'm going to put it on the top. So, I have x plus 9 right there. And next one is x minus, or x plus 3. Okay? I like putting the plus signs because later when we have minus signs, I don't want to forget that they're negative. So, this is all I'm writing right here. Now, to fill in the, the squares, we just have to multiply. It's kind of like a times table. x times x, what is that? x, is x. x squared. And then I have x times uh, 9. 9x. Nine Alright, then we have 9x right there. And then uh, x three times 3. 3x. And okay. then 27. Yep, 3x and we have 27. Now, some of you guys were, were doing this, and uh, I know how you got it. You guys just wrote x squared plus 27. You totally forgot the x terms. You don't have these guys right here. 9x and 3x. You should have that right in the middle. So this is not right. So you would write it out like this. And there's a shortcut way to do this. If you know it, use it. So plus 3x plus 27. So I just wrote these all out. Okay, I got that plus that plus that plus that. All right. Now, there's like terms, right? Yep. How many x terms do we totally have? Like, we have two x terms, but how many total x's do we have? 12x. So you should have x squared plus 12x plus 27. That's your answer. Okay, now I need you guys to try a different one. We're going to try, we're going to go over here and try 29. All right, so, um, I'm, gonna, I'm doing the box way. There's other ways to do it, but I'm doing the box. So I'm going to do this thing. All right. So, Jasmine, uh, give me um, two terms I could put right here and right here. Oh, pay, pay attention to these right here. Okay, that sounds good. X plus 1. And what do I put over here? X, X minus 5? Okay, so it says X minus 5, so I have a negative 5 now. Jasmine, if I go X times X, what do I get right here? Yes, X squared. And then what is uh, x times 1? Uh, yeah, just 1x. What is x times negative 5? Um, oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's it. You don't really have to like do anything. You just put them right next to each other. Okay, what's negative 5 and 1? Well, you multiply those. Yep. Okay, so now do you know what to do next? No. Okay, you got to add them all up. So uh, the first term, give me the first term. Oh, my God, Mr. Pini. First term. No. What's the first term? What's my first term? Mr. Pini, I don't know. Wait, I'm pointing an arrow at it. What is, what is it? Yes, x squared. What's next? No, come on. What's next? That one. Yeah, good job. That one. It's one x. What's next? Well, what is it? Say it. Good job, Jasmine, number two. Negative five x, and then the last one? Negative five. Okay, Jasmine, you have to answer this last question. I'll leave you alone. What two uh, terms do I add together? The, the, the negative five and negative five. no, 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 no. They have to have the same, same, same variables. Yeah, the x terms. Okay, okay. What do you get when you add them? Well, you didn't answer my, you didn't answer my question, so you have to do it. Okay, minus four x, uh, minus five. Okay. So we gotta do one more because uh, it looks like some of you guys are still not getting it. Uh, we're going to do um, this one right here. We want, I want this guy right here. 35. Do 35. Go. Go. Do it. So, again, I'm going to use a box. Okay, we got... Um, now, I'm going to switch it up here. Normally, like, I would put this one on top just because I write them first, but I'm going to put them on the side. It doesn't matter. 6x, and then I put minus 2 right there, and then I have 5x, and then plus 1. Actually, that's how you did it, right, Jasmine? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't even talk to me, man. I just want to swim. Okay. Um, well, you're a swimmer. Okay. What is 5 times 6? Six? 6 times 5. So we get 30. And then what's x times x? X squared. So that's x squared. Okay. What is 6x times 1? So then we have 5 times negative 2. What's that give us? Negative 10. X. Don't forget your X. And then the last one is negative 2 times 1, which is just negative 2. So when I write this out, 
We have 30 x squared. And you can uh, kind of shortcut it right here. You can just add these together first, so you don't have to write it twice. So if I add the two like terms, that's going to give me negative 4x. Um, oh, look, I put plus double. minus. Yeah. That's fine, though. Negative 2. That's, that means the same thing as this. It doesn't matter if you put the plus right there. Okay, so this is your answer. There's no like terms to add together. We get a trinomial. And actually, you get that most of the time when you multiply two binomials. There's one situation when you don't get a trinomial when you multiply two binomials, and that's what we're going to look at today. Um, so anyways, I hope that helped you guys. Um, let's go on to the next thing.